Good morning, Scorpios. It's Monday morning and we are doing your reading. Look at that. I got the King of Cups. What's beneath that? And the King of Pentacles. I just, who did I just do? I just forgot. Aquarius. There it is. King of Pentacles and King of Cups. All right, Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I just want to say, what do I want to say? So today I'm doing the Kings, tomorrow the Queens, Wednesday the Knights, and then I'm going to start all over. But I'm going to record those because this is my last week of September readings. Next week starts the October readings. But I am having a major and extensive surgery on Monday. But I'm going to record the readings and have it released, you know, throughout the week. And is that it? I don't know. Maybe that's it. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I guess that's all I have to say. All right. What is the general energy for you guys? Oh, look at the King of Pentacles. Look at this. Look at these kings popping out today. It's crazy. What is going on with the Scorpios? What is going on with the Scorpios? General energy for Scorpio. General energy for my Scorpios. Okay, one more, one more, one more, okay, and the other way, all right, oh. all right, general energy, what's going on with the king of cups, what's going on, what is the general energy, ooh, another king, king of wands, Leo, and he's next, Leo energy, passion that that is somebody who knows what they want and that is someone who doesn't care what people say they're just going after what they want what's influencing the king of wands what's influencing it and the two of pentacles lots of balance i always say this is a great card you see the infinity symbol above her this is a card that should never end in your life when you're actually upright and balanced and going after your soul's mission and soul's path this energy should never stop even when you get to the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups kind of thing, this this is what gets you there, but this is what maintains you there. It's an energy within yourself and being connected and balanced. Okay, what is... Oh, my nose is itching. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading, Scorpio? What is it? And the Seven of Cups. It's you, but you got a lot of clarity on what's where your wish fulfillment is. And here's the secret. This is why another reason why I love this deck, the imagery on it. It doesn't matter which path you take, just get on the path because they all lead to the same destination. Maybe that's what you realize. And maybe you're like, enough with the monkey business. I cannot put my life on hold. I need to do whatever this is. You're following the beat to your own drum and it's literally setting your soul on fire right now. And the two of pentacles, which is Capricorn energy, it's just, it's just balance. It's balance and it's also balancing out your money. It's going to balance out your emotions and happiness. What's in the past? What's in the past? What is in the past for Scorpio? What is it? And the Five of Swords reverse, an ending. But with all endings, it's new beginnings. Five of Swords reverse is um, you're, you're just dumb being taken advantage of. I mean, look at the imagery there. Maybe you were the guy in the background and, and you had a situation that kept taken and taken and taken from you till there was nothing left. That could that may not even be a person. That could be the energy surrounding a situation like a job. And you had to branch out and go where your happiness is. What's on your mind? And that's Aquarius, by the way. What's on your mind? What is on, I'm gonna say Leo, because I'm looking at this King of Wands. What's on Scorpio's mind? The Six of Swords reverse. Why do I feel like it's this person? That's energetically being stuck. Maybe you had to pull away from somebody who you ended up being, and maybe you don't even know it, that you were their wish fulfillment. But Five of Swords, even though it's reversed, I feel like this is how they operated. I think you probably didn't know what was in this person's mind. And you. it wasn't until you pulled away that they would be like, oh, wait, 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 where did Scorpio go? Well, Scorpio is blazing new paths, paths that weren't ever, you know, Scorpio's going in territories that have not been founded. I can't say that. Paths that have not been created. I don't know, you're making your own path, basically. Because the King of Wands is not a follower. He is a leader. He has followers. What is the near future? What is the near future for Scorpio? What is the near future? What is the near future? And the Eight of Swords. This, this feels, you see this? What you got clarity, the Seven of Cups reverse, is 
why you had to leave this. Maybe this, you outgrew this and you realize you had, you know, like he's had wings all along, he could fly, but maybe out of loyalty, you stayed in a situation that you outgrew for a long time. This person keeps themselves small. Maybe do they don't have that kind of security within themselves. I think you found it, or maybe you always had it, Scorpio. Either way, you have to do what you need to do right now. This person you're leaving behind is still stuck in the small mindset. And maybe they have clarity on what made them happy, right? Because here's a star and here's a star. Both these stars are reversed because you pulled away from them. But you can't worry about making other people happy if you're miserable in that situation. Okay, what is, or Scorpio, how do you see yourselves? How do you see yourselves? How do the Scorpio see themselves? Three of Wands. You, another card of outgrowing a situation, just like this Eight of Swords. Just, you know, you know, he's like, he outgrew this cage. He, he, it, it, he's too big for it. A cage, maybe you put yourself in to make them happy. But she, what I like about this Aries card, Three of Wands, is it's a card meaning waiting for your ships to come in. She has a ship in her hand. She's not waiting for anyone. She went out and did it herself. She found a fleet of ships. Now she's helping others. Now you're seeing what else is out there. You're like, okay, I was in this situation. I helped them out. This could even be about a job or family, honestly. It may not be a relationship. But this is you saying, I, I mean, I kind of outgrew this. I need to see what is out there. She's looking out into the horizons into distant lands she has her back to where she was okay what is the influencing energy for scorpio what is the influencing energy for scorpio and the king of wands the female interesting on the same line both upright the king female and the king of wands male that's interesting and magical. So some of you, if this is a work or a family, maybe you didn't have a re new relationship that pulled you away. And that is also where your wish fulfillment is. And there may have a new see parts of yourself that you long forgot about or that were hidden. You know, they, they kind of like see, they really see you. What's in your emotions, Scorpio? What's in your emotions? What is in your emotions? And the strength Leo card again. That's, I don't think you're going back to this. You're on this path. You're not coming off this path. If this is a relationship you're now focused on, you're not going to be sidetracked from it. What's the outcome here? What is the outcome for Scorpio? And the queen of cups reverse. Interesting. I'll tell you this, this, this happens sometimes. Oh, hold on. Let me, I got, oh, now I, I got to light, relight these candles. I'll light them as I say this. This happened a couple weeks ago. You know what I feel? Well, one, first of all, I think this queen of cups reverse, maybe it's just you cutting this past energy off, but I really feel like Scorpio, you might end here in this reading. And I think this queen of cups reverse might be these three because you, whoever you dealt with, Whoever you dealt with is still, oh, that's, that's so funny. Look at this. I don't think I can light this candle, guys. Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Nope. We have one flame. We're going to have to go with it. Nope. Now they're all out. You know what? It's symbolic. You know why? The flame is out on this relationship. The flame is out on this job. The flame is out in this past situation. That's that's what's going on here. And until this hardens over, I can't even light the candle. So it's going to have to be tomorrow. But Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, you're you're done. You're done. And I feel like maybe you you invested so much of yourself that it was you were emotionally unbalanced, right? But now you got your balance back because you got your happiness. Whatever this is, even if this is within yourself, this is you going after after like what makes you happy. This is very magician like, you know. I do feel I always see the King of Wands reverse or the King of Wands reverse. The King of Wands as the magician because you are making shit happen. You're going after your dreams and your happiness. And with that strength card in your emotions, nothing's going to derail you. Not even a guilt trip from the past. Okay, what is this King of Wands and Two of Pentacles? What is this King of Wands and Two of Pentacles for Scorpio? What is this King of Wands and Two of Pentacles doing here? What is this King of Wands and Two of Pentacles? 
What is that? King of Wands and Two of Pentacles for Scorpio. What is this? Eight of Wands reverse. I think that's I think that's blocking this out. Blocking that out. Give me another card on that. Two of Pentacles and and also. Yeah, and the four of wands. Some of you, this is where your focus is. I, 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 some of you, it definitely is a new relationship. That's and this is the end goal. And it's it could be just moving away from family, but I feel like it could. This definitely could even be a job. What whatever this is situation was, it kept you small. It, it kept you trapped. It kept you out of loyalty. I think you you were in it, and you have to. This is where your focus is on happiness. It's like the the finish line. It looks like a finish line, right? And the eleven eleven a card. So eight of wands reverse. I feel like this is you with horse blinders on now. This is you blocking everything else out but what matters. What matters is the finish line. And I feel like you can't put yourself, you can't hold yourself back to make other people happy anymore. It's just that simple. You really can't. What is the Seven of Cups reverse, the reason for the reading? What is the Seven of Cups reverse, the reason for the reading for Scorpio? And the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. That's what you see clear. And Three of Wands, you're just like, I have to go. I outgrew the situation. I need to go where, where I'm most needed. You know, where I'm, I don't know where that's weird that I said it that way, where I'm most needed, but it's like your soul is leading you now. You, you can't, you can't deny it even if you wanted to. What is the five of swords reversed in the past? What's the five of swords reversed in the past and the lovers reversed? Yeah, that's an ending of a soul contract. Definitely. Ending of Anna seven and maybe you feel like you wasted a lot of time there could be seven months seven years It could even be seven days, you know wasting set. It doesn't matter You you hung in there and somebody probably manipulated lied to you had you emotionally kind of all over the place be, Because I want to say they're they they operate out of a they operate out of like Out of low self-esteem and a lot of times when people operate from a low self-esteem place, they portray, they, they, they one, put their problems on other people. They project them, you know, and that's just how they, they can try to, I don't know what, I don't know how to say this really. They, they live in this and either you have to make yourself small and squeeze into their world, or you have to say, you know what, I, I don't belong in this world. I need to go where I do belong. And it's probably with this King of Wands, whoever this is to you, for you, man or woman. And I feel like they bring something out in you that you you long forgot about. You know, it's like a it's a happiness. And some of you, this is not even a person. This could just be a place or a job. What's the Six of Swords reverse on Scorpio's mind? What's the Six of Swords reverse on Scorpio's mind? And the Nine of Swords. But there's Gemini energy. They're stuck. They're stuck that you left them. What is this Eight of Swords in the near future for Scorpio? What's this Eight of Swords in the near future? And the Death card. It's you reverse, but it's not you. This isn't you. I, you know what? I'm. This is interesting. I feel like you picked a path and you're walking it. See, you picked a star. This person doesn't know how to pick. They don't know how to go. F See, the stars are above them. And they're not even looking. They don't. They don't. They just don't think beyond their small existence. And what are you supposed to do? Keep yourself like this? No, I think you chose to be like this. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is you realizing you have wings and flying out of there. You know, this person just can't. I, I'm going to repeat myself terribly here, but this person just can't get past their own shortcomings. And everybody has shortcomings. Everybody has problems or hurdles and flaws and things we need to work on. But it, it doesn't hold every single person back like it does with them. What is this three of wands? How you see yourself? Why is Scorpio see themselves as the three of wands? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Queen of swords reversed. I think that's... Sometimes when that card comes out, it really feels like fed up. Queen of Swords reverse. Give me another one. And the Hangman upright. Or not upright, reverse. It's seeing somebody for who they are. What you see is this is a person who can't enact 
strong boundaries in their life. Maybe they're heavily influenced by their own family and their own friends and they kind of blow with the wind. And you here are the strength in your emotions. You're, you know, you know exactly what you want. You're going after it. This is a person who isn't like that. And I feel like, and they, so they allow all kinds of bullshit in, but this is also you fed up with that. And that's why your back's to it and you're looking else, what else is out there. And when she looks out there, she finds this King of Wands coming in. And some of you already have that coming in that you know about. What is this King of Wands and the influencing energy? It's like literally bringing your own magic out. Either you're doing this yourself, either you're doing this yourself or somebody's doing this for you, you know, with this King, because look at the magic. That's just amazing, amazing. But anyway, more Gemini, Eight of Swords. Give me another card on that. Eight of Swords and the King of Wands. What is this? Eight of Swords and the King of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, now this person's just like, but but come back. Let's work on this. I, you know, I feel like they're just lost without you, Scorpio. And I hate, you know, what I hate about these readings is if you know this or not, especially if you don't, it, then it can make you rethink it. It can make you feel guilty. And I don't like that because this is a Scorpio who's really on their path to major wish fulfillment. Either it's just within you, which isn't just, I mean, that's a huge thing. It's within you going after your dreams, finding this magic that you've had to temper inside you due to other people, right? And now nothing's going to pull you out of this path. Not even a guilt trip. What's the strength in your emotions? What's the strength in Scorpio's emotions? What is it? Strength in Scorpio's emotions. And the three of pentacles. Yeah. This I, I think this could be more about your personal wish fulfillment within a career or a, um, you know, um, some type of passion, you know? I mean, it could be relationship, but I really think you are so focused on your own dreams right now and to a sword that you might even be black and love out. But this is, I love this card. This is in the here and now. You're at peace. You're at peace with this decision. You're not going back. You're not looking forward, but you're not looking back either. In fact, you have your back to the past. What's the outcome? Why is it Queen of Cups reverse? Cancer energy in the outcome? Why is it the Queen of Cups reverse for Scorpio? Why is it the Queen of Cups reverse for Scorpio? And the Justice Libra card. Some of you could be a Libra, Scorpio, cusp. But the Justice, it's just, I feel like you're just cutting this off. You're no longer given to it. But you know, more importantly, Scorpio, you're no longer given to things that caused you unbalance. And it could be a series. It could be people. It could be jobs. It could be, it could be all kinds of crap. And you are really focused, just like I felt with this eight of wands reverse. I think you have blinders on to only what this four of wands is for you. Some of you, this is about buying your own house, not even with somebody else, but within your, you know, whatever this is for you. You are blocking out all the negative people, all the negative self-talk, all the negative energies. And you're just really focused on your goals right now. What is this Queen of Cups reverse and the Two of Swords and the Justice? And the Three of Cups reverse and disloyal energies. I, I, so I don't blame you. Until maybe you had a series of people that backstabbed you. Maybe you had contracts that fell through or people were saying, we could do this together, Scorpio. And Scorpio is just like, you know what? I can do this on my own. I don't need a partner. I'm a King of Wands. You are in this reading. I know you're a King of Cups, but in this reading, Mr. King of Cups or Miss King of Cups, you're a King of Wands. You're going after what sets your soul on fire and nothing is going to hold you back. That's, that's amazing. All right, Scorpios, that is what I have for you this week. I will see you next week. Well, parts of me will. The other parts will be writhing in pain. Okay, Scorpios, have a good week. Take care.